Welcome back to another exciting episode. The text to video competition has been thoroughly launched and Sora is nowhere to be found. Let's dive into the newest one, Runway ML, and check out its amazing details. So today, Runway ML released Gen 3 Alpha. It's first of an upcoming series of models trained by Runway on a new infra infrastructure built for large scale multimodal training. It's a major improvement in fidelity, consistency, and motion over Gen 2, and a step towards building the general world models. Basically, the general world models is, instead of having a language model, it does videos and audio and sounds and stuff like that. So this is what they're visioning, and let me tell you what, some of the results that we're, they're releasing are amazing. Okay, the prompt for this particular one is, subtle reflections of a woman in a window on a train moving in hyperspeed Japanese city. And you can see the detail on this thing is absolutely insane. Definitely high def. The, the trains running by looks fantastic. Let's keep moving. The prompt for this one is an astronaut running through an alley in Rio de Janeiro. His hand looks a little funny here, but everything else looks really good. The detail, Sora is just so far behind on the game on this. The next prompt here, FPV flying through a colorful coral lined the streets of underwater suburban neighborhood. I mean, it looks great. It looks like a suburban neighborhood. Maybe a little bit run down parts of it. This prompt here is handheld tracking shot at night following a dirty blue floating above the ground abandoned old European street. Look at the detail on that fire, the smoke. Some kind of circle orb running through. This looks, it's just transitions, this looks so real. Water looks awesome. Okay, this prompt here is an older man playing piano from its side. And I'm just gonna tell you, these these, these uh, videos are looking just fantastic. I mean, Runway or Luma Dream Machine videos are, are great and they're, they're the hottest thing on the internet right now, but this right here, as soon as this is available to the public, it's going to be the game changer, I believe, that we've been looking for. Because these notice these videos are 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 50 seconds long. The prompt here for is a slow cinematic push in on an ostrich standing in a 1980s kitchen. Definitely looks like a kitchen from the 80s. And definitely an ostrich. It's very cool. This is one of my favorite ones right here. The prompt is a middle-aged, sad, bald man becomes happy as a wig of curly hair and sunglasses fall suddenly on his head. Look at this. If you didn't know this was AI, you would have no idea it was AI. This looks completely realistic. His movements are realistic. The lighting's great. It's fantastic. Here we go. An empty warehouse. Zoom in into a wonderful jungle that emerges from the ground. So you see the jungle coming up out of nowhere. Everything looks real. This was really cool too, and I'll show you why. The prompt is handheld camera moving fast. Flashlight light in a white old wall in an old alley at night, a black graffiti that spells runway. Now, you know AI struggles badly for spelling, so let's see what this does. Definitely looks like a flashlight. And then, bam, spray painted on there, some graffiti runway. It looks great, I mean, it looks real. I'm blown away by this. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Now, I don't have the prompts on these, but let's check out some, some of these clips. The prompt is, a puppet talking to a man who doesn't want to be talking to a puppet. <laughs> that looks fantastic. It looks like a real puppet. This one is a teddy bear sitting in the window of a commercial airplane as clouds drift by outside the window. I definitely see a realistic looking teddy bear. Look at the, the plane. The clouds look real. Although I think the clouds are moving. The plane's moving backwards. Okay, the plane's moving backwards. That's a little weird. <laughs> Still fascinating, though. Absolutely fascinating. 
To be fair, they didn't prompt which way the plane should be going. And they're going to be testing some physics behavior on it. So this is balls dropping. And you can see that they're bouncing just like they would in real life. Some not landing inside the, the container there. Looks fantastic. And here is, uh, they're going to render text in this one. That looks great. I'm assuming they were going for AI FF. And here is some facial expression. It's incredible. It looks lifelike. Okay, so just to brief it all up, what we know so far is it's going to be first of the upcoming series of models trained on runway with new infrastructure for built large scale multi model modal training and represents a significant step towards building the general world models that they're, out, they're trying to build. Trained jointly on videos and images, Gen 3 Alpha will power runways, text to video, image to video, text to image tools, existing control models such as motion brush, advanced camera controls, and director mode. And upcoming tools enable for even more fine grained control over your videos. Alpha 3 was trained from the ground up for creative applications. It was a collaborative effort across a disciplinary team of research scientists, engineers, and artists, and it will be available for the public over the coming days. So I hope that you guys are just as excited about this as I am. I am geeked out of my mind over it. Uh, I've been looking for stuff. Uh, Lumo uh, Dream Machine is amazing, but it's pretty expensive. Uh, I'm hoping that Runway ML stays around the same price that it is right now, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what they do with the Alpha 3, and maybe they'll raise the cost. Maybe they'll keep it the same. But that's what I got so far. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you uh, for subscribing. And uh, until next time.